first, it's important to know that there are two types of an account. There's an individual and there's a professional. So the individual basically is you are being charged per unit fee. You pack that item, you ship that item to the customer. Um, it's less of Amazon Prime, less of Amazon doing the work. And then there's the professional, which you pay $39.99 a month for. And that is where you have the option to sending into Amazon. Amazon um, prepping, Amazon sending the item to the customer, and Amazon dealing with the customer returns. So the first thing you need to ask yourself when starting is are you going to sign up as an individual or are you going to sign up as a business? So that is very important to know because you need to know if you're going to sign up with your social security number or your EIN, which would be your business. Um, and that is one of the first things. And now we're going to hop into my laptop and I'm going to walk you through how you are going to set up this account to sell on Amazon. All right, so this is how you set up your seller account in Amazon. So when you go to sellercentral.amazon.com, this will be the first page that pulls up. So of course it gives you the option of sign up at $39.99 a month plus selling fees. Um, to become an Amazon seller so we'll do sign up but you also have the option here to press learn more and of course like I explained it definitely tells you the difference between everything so then you press sign up and then you need to have an email and phone number so we'll create an account um, make your name so let's say make is our name <laughs> and then we'll do an email address All right, then it's gonna ask for your one-time pass. Let's see. All right, then you'll press create your Amazon account. So then here, what it's gonna do is ask you to select your business location. Now, varies of course on the country you are in, which we are in the United States. Then you will click agree and continue. Um, and then the business type. Now you, like I said in the beginning, you could be your own company for right now and then eventually you can lead and form into a business um, so you could just say you are the individual now the important thing is to make sure you are approved is that you want to give Amazon what they want so when it goes into the next details which um, it'll show you step by step is you want to make sure if it asks you for a PDF give them a PDF if they ask you for your address and social and important things, give them the information. The quicker you give them the most accurate information, the quicker they'll approve you, the quicker you can start selling and making money because you don't want to have any questioning with your account. Okay, so here are some quick tips just to end off this video. So the first thing is give Amazon exactly what they want. So if they want a PDF, if they want your social or an EIN, or if you're a business, a sole proprietor, if it's under only you, if you plan or your estimated income a year is 30,000, um, give them the exact information that they're asking for. The second thing is, is be honest as possible. So just like the first tip is give the correct accurate information. And then the third thing is don't overthink. It is $40 if you do choose that plan. You can always cancel. You can always take a vacation from your account. You can always just try and be done. Um, that's the great thing about this is you do have that power in your hands. So give it a go. See how you feel. Check out my other videos on how to sell on Amazon. And... Just give it your best shot and worst case scenario is you learn a new skill and you keep moving forward. So the first thing you want to figure out is do you want to do online arbitrage or retail arbitrage? Now I have spoken about both briefly which I will leave a link to the video right here or wherever it's at. 
and you could definitely check out the four different ways you could sell on Amazon. In this case, we're gonna go over an example for a retail arbitrage. So the thing is, is you can basically find items anywhere. It could be at your local grocery store, it could be at Target, it could be at a toy store. As long as you are ungated on Amazon, which I will talk about gating in a future video, but as long as you are ungated, you can basically sell anything you want, anything you see, literally something to do for fun after you watch this video is go around your house and just scan stuff. Now you could scan stuff on the Amazon app. So you would, after you sign up for your Amazon account, which we talked about in the previous video, um, you do get into that Seller Central app that you should have on your phone and you can use the scanner on there. Um, you can scan using the photo, you could scan using the barcode of a product, but in this case, for example, you are at the grocery store and you find these gluten-free bites. Now, I'm gonna tell you these are freaking delicious, but um, you find these gluten-free bites. So what you're gonna do, we'll talk about the Seller Central app because it is the free app you have available. And then, of course, there are other apps out there that I preferably use, but in this video, we're gonna just do something free. So you go to Amazon Seller app and then you'll go to add product, and then there will be a scanner, the, the little camera. So then you'll go and get the barcode, and it'll pick up this item. So obviously these are restricted, and they're heavily restricted. So as you can see, which we will talk about in a future video as well, um, but it is heavily restricted, but if you go to this one, you can see that there are 11 offers, seven fulfilled by Amazon offers, which we also talked about in a previous video. Um, and you can go see what other people are selling it for. So then if you are selling it at the 434 price, or say, say we want to match, I saw somebody with $6. So we could change this to say we're going to sell it for 650. And say we buy it for like, let's just say we we sell it at the store for a dollar. You put a dollar in there, and you're gonna make a dollar sixty-seven back if you list it at the six fifty price. So that's what you will do. Is you want to make sure you replicate that. Um, so find items, scan it. That is the same process for every other item out there. So as long as you're not gated in the item, then you can go ahead and sell it, make sure the profit is good enough for you. So you do wanna calculate, of course, how much is it gonna cost to ship? How much is your extra stuff, like packing and all of that? Um, and then if you're doing it merchant fulfilled or if you're doing it fulfilled by Amazon. But the first thing that I want you to do from this video is go around your house, see what do you have that you can just scan, see what it's listed at for Amazon, what is it selling at? What did you think you bought it for? What do you think the average price is wherever you bought it from? And put that in the app and see if you can make any money from that. That's a simple way you could do that from home because then if you do know these gluten-free bites are a dollar each, for example, and then you know they're at your local grocery store, there you go. You just scanned an item at home. You found out it's profitable and then you go go get some more get a couple and test it out send it to amazon test it out um list it on amazon do merchant fulfilled test it out so that is the same process for about every other store is finding an item can you sell it if you can great what's the profit is the profit good for you then if that is great send it into amazon if it sells fantastic get more and it's a repeat process. There's multiple ways to get ungated. Now this is gonna be one of the e easiest, most efficient ways to get ungated and get unlocked in categories brands so you can have a more variety to sell on Amazon. So as you could see, if you type in your Amazon seller app, which again, if you have not set up your account, you make sure you wanna do that leave a link to the video up here on how to set up your Amazon seller account. But for fun, in your free time, you could definitely do this. Um, so we 
I just type in bars and add a product for example for this example and you can see they have the perfect bar original refrigerated protein bar and it says requires approval in gray so you click on that listing and then you will press selling it'll say like you can't sell this you press on that and then you'll press again request approval and then bam you're ungated now it does matter the level of your account you're at depending how many sales histories you have and how long you've been selling for all the things like that um, but I just give it a go try and get ungated and things and it, it will expand on how much you could sell on Amazon um, but that is one of the ways now the other way to get ungated is you would have to go and find a brand let's say it cosmetics are they gated yes requires approval so same thing you have to request approval to sell in the beauty category you press the request approval and then what will happen is it's going to ask you for a document now this document you can get from a distributor you can get from um the it cosmetics themselves um so that is a little a more challenging way to get on gated but that is the other way so amazon will request you this information you have to provide them with and then they will determine if you are eligible to sell into that category or that brand and ultimately sell that item on amazon now it is important to note that if you find a product at the store like in my previous video I talked about these gluten-free bites if you find these in the store and they say restricted and you cannot sell them but then you try and get ungated it doesn't auto ungate you and it says you need to request approval please do not buy these because you're going to sell them into Amazon or you'll buy them buy a whole bunch send them into Amazon and then Amazon's gonna reject that and you're gonna be like why because you are gated. So it is important to really, really pay attention to that stuff because it can mess up your flow. And of course, if you're sending in stuff that you've bought, you bought in and you can't sell, you're only going to kind of hold yourself back because you're limiting how much you could spend because now you have to wait for Amazon to send those items back and sell them that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up comment down below what is something you would like to get ungated in definitely let me know Make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos on how to get started on amazon and i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next week